carrying the loads of brothers and sisters in Christ. Welcome, good day and hello to Silent Time, the opportunity to think on what is really important in life. Do you carry the loads of brothers and sisters in faith who might have difficulties and weaknesses? Usually in every community, in every Christian community, there are also weak people Weakness, who have weaknesses in body that they cannot move properly or weaknesses in spirit that they cannot th think clearly or weaknesses in faith or in knowledge or weaknesses in sin that they may not be able to withstand. But as Christians, we are not called to give up on them. Rather, we are called to carry their loads, to help them. We shall not cast away anybody as long as he confesses Christ and as long as Christ and God does not give up on them and may have a fine conscience towards ourselves, but on the outside to help to others we are called to be strong to be endurable and to help as much as we can to carry the burdens of others And necessarily, there are always weak people. Same as in a body, there are not only bones and muscles, but there is also weaker flesh, like softer flesh that is just there. And same in the body of Christ, there are strong and weak people, strong in body or mind or faith or whatever it might be. And those are called to help to carry the loads of the weaker ones. In Romans 14, verse 1, Welcome those who are weak in faith, but do not argue with them about their personal opinions. And in many other places where also Jesus calls to love and to share. So we are called to do that as well. Lord, we thank you for your love. You know how often we are weak and you still carry us. Help us not to give up on those who seem to be weaker, who seem to have the wrong faith or the wrong attitude or who are not phys physically, whatever it might be, or who are still bound in strong sins. Help us and help them. Come with your Holy Spirit. We all need your help. There are so many things to do and few people who take up the Lord. We ask for your support and we thank you for all that you have done, that you have won the greatest victory. The major thing that needs to be done already is won. You have won the victory on the cross. Thank you for your forgiveness, for your mercy and for your love. Guide us on, on the narrow path towards your eternal kingdom and we praise your holy name forever. Amen.